stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You fallen in love? <laughs> With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? Um, we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you've cultivated? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Now, uh, where can a man find a bit rough? Do you know what I mean? you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Yeah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw! Come on! Oh! 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 Oh!
Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold. It's Rona, right? Kenway, looking for trouble, I assume. Hmm. So you haven't lost your charm. <laughs> and you're still boozy as a swill tub. What do you want? I've come to warn you. Your life's in danger. Aren't you the crafty one? Whatever gave her away? Possibly I had a hand in selling a sensitive document. To one of those Templar chaps you're so fond of. Congratulations, your mission was a success. How can I make amends? <sighs> you sober enough for target practice? Anything for a lady. <sighs> Help me kill these men!
Is this your new persona? Sir Edward of Havana rescues damsels in distress. And does it suit me, Mopsy? <sighs> Better than your old personality. Really, Edward, why are you here? Yes. Well, there's a key. Most likely in the pocket of your Templar suitor. I need it. Really? And why don't I want this key for myself? Rona, I know you're no stranger to a man's boots, but the suit this key unlocks won't fit you. I'll tell you what. If I think of a chore that requires the help of an especially simple fellow, I'll let you know. Have you reconsidered my offer, Rona? Yes. As I'm indisposed, and my sense of duty runs deeper than my pride, there's a situation I hope you can investigate. Go on. Mind, I said investigate a situation, not create one. Yes, Mum. What is it? A rash of thefts and mischief. Seems too convenient it started at the same time as these bureau attacks. Could you see what you can find out around the market? A boozy swill tub like me. Are you sure? I won't let you down. It would be hard to get much lower than this. De momento haré como que no ha ocurrido. What you find out? Managed to nab a pickpocket. Slyboots had a map. Something about storehouses and gunpowder. I did some research too. It's clear as day. 
The whole operation's run by that Templar scoundrel Hillary Flint. That's the same name from the map. He's using pickpockets to run an arms race. Against who? Me. He's in the lead, I take it. Yes, but with your map, we can destroy his weapon stores to catch up. Let's waste no time. Blanco. 
claro. Yo te tengo entallonado. Tengo en mi línea de tiro. Edward, we've reduced that Templar Cad Flint to a fraction of his power. The only thing standing between you and your key now is Flint himself. You have an approach in mind? I'll engage him in combat. And you... Circle around. Carefully and, well, you know the rest. Suddenly squeamish, Rona. Can't quite bring yourself to kill him. Of course not. I just don't want you to feel like I'm telling you what to do. I think that injury must have left you with a touch of fever. Can we go now? Let's. Oh, he won't be hard to find. Cheeky bastard. Strutting about like the cock of the walk. Admitted, Rona. Deep down, you like the walk of that cock. I can arrange to have you in Thumakins if flogging's too kind, anyway. What I miss the most is the fox hunt. Of course, there's plenty of other game to be found. I'll distract him. Hey, Flint! Ha! Not much of a shot, are you, Flint? You should know, Ha ha ha! I should! I've been studying you for so long! Like retreat. I like a man who knows his place. Oh, you want to be stuck? You're finished! Ha! <laughs> I knew we would end in fire, but I always thought our positions would be reversed. I should have died happier, knowing there was one less assassin in the world. What a pity. We could never fight together on the correct side of things. Would, uh, you two like a moment alone? No. It's too late. Take it. His charm's all used up. Let the memory of him be locked away for good.
Stand still, huh?
Who's mine? Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to this... ...then pull the hair off each other's chests. Settle down. There's no need for being born right here, no? Alright. The prince is leading us straight to him. Alright, Jesus. I'll stay in my room for a time, but not long. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Nearer 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Much has changed in that short time. An uncalled government, where I quit that post last year. Ah, oh, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ah! Convert them! 
God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as them. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. your blood and soften your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural quality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should be. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money to see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Other stories about you, Prusa. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous wreck. Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won. If a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I'd known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. 
for the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Horus? Not alone, but certainly without Collins. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Kill Kenway for a better horse. Together. You have your time. Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. Keep your nutty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that! you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? 
Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. If you see Prince before I do, kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right? Damn, man. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. Hey, wasn't that Spanish color to come up here for a visit? Torres or something? You didn't hear what happened? He was attacked by a couple of brigands on his way here. Buccaneers or the like. And now... Jesus. Is he all right? Slip away from what I have
Help me, damn it! Ground. Please, I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. It's faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads.
they hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. <laughs> 